The number of people living below the bread line are said to have significantly dropped from 70% in 2001 to 28% a decade later. In essence, 400,000 people have been lifted out of poverty since 2001. This reduction is attributed to social safety nets, which include old age pensions, war veteran subventions and social grants to orphans, vulnerable children and people living with disabilities. The conference, organised by Social Security Commission in collaboration with the Ministry of Labour, brings together more than 250 key stakeholders, academics, experts and decision makers within the global social protection arena. But all that progress, though commendable, is not sufficient to pull us back from the brink of nightmares forecasted by Stiglitz, where dual economies and societies appear in single country. The Secretary General of the Trade Union Congress of Namibia, Mahongora Kavihua, who is also amongst the attendants, underscored the importance of this event. We want social security to be expanded to informal sector, social security to be expanded so that every, every citizen can start feel that security socially. The ILO, International Labour Organization, have passed a recommendation that, 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 that talk about the social security to be expanded to the grassroots and for the country to start taking what we call self-introspections and assess whether their social security really making contributions to, and improve the livelihood of the people. So it's very important. Uh, conference this one, especially for the workers. According to the 2014 United Nations Human Development Report, 8% of the world's population lack comprehensive social protection and 12% suffer from chronic hunger. Furthermore, over half of all workers form part of the informal employment sector.